Well, it's changing because the scientific studies have shown that there are no more risks for uh, gay men uh, to give blood after only a four month as abstinence period compared to 12 uh, before. And actually, the opening of uh, this uh, blood donation to gays in 2016 have not led to an increase of the risk of transmission of HIV. Uh, all the figures are also quite interesting and relevant, uh, and they have led maybe to this decision. Uh, the restriction was decided because health authorities uh, are afraid uh, because of the risk uh, that uh, in among the gay population, uh, which is higher, uh, which is uh, that's true. But uh, studies have also shown that the proportion of gays giving their blood and having more than one partner was actually uh, smaller than the average population. Uh, so the uh, organization, LGBT organizations, are uh, quite uh, pointing out this fact that uh, they should focus also on uh, personal behaviors. So, so how have people been reacting to this? Well, they are quite happy, but they would like more. They would like uh, the end of the ban. Uh, I've uh, interviewed earlier uh, the president of SOS Homophobia. He's, it's one of the main LGBT organizations in France. And uh, he doesn't deny the fact that there are there's more risk uh, among the gay population. But uh, like I said, he, he, wants, he thinks this uh, um, ban is discriminatory because it's based on trust. You have have to say how many partners you've had for the last four or 12 months. And it basically he says uh, that we trust more straight people rather than gay people. So if you want, let's listen to him uh, when I interviewed him uh, earlier. Yeah, rather than a discrimination, it is at least a, a stigmatization of gay and bisexual people so, uh, because uh, we estimate that they have uh, more risk to uh, transmit and uh, have uh, HIV. And uh, that's a, a stigmatization. We wish that uh, sexual behavior uh, would be uh, taken into consideration rather than sexual orient or orientation. Uh, and today it's not the case.